In this recording, we'll discuss how to create pivot tables and chart the data from that pivot table so we can see trends and make data-driven decisions. What we have here is some data on items that we've sold in a couple of different stores. So we have a Center Reach store, a Setauket store, a Stony Brook store, and then the items that we sold, how the item was sold, whether it was in store, uh, fulfilled through a mail order request form, or through uh, online. How many of the items that were sold and the money we received from the items that were sold. We're going to ask these questions and create pivot tables to give us the information. So the first question is, find out which store made the most money for the year. So which store, that would be the where column, and then which store made the most money would be the revenue column. So we want to focus on those two columns. To create a pivot table, before you begin, first highlight your data. Then click on Insert Pivot Table. Be sure to check your range. So this is for the range on Sheet 1, which is Sheet 1 here, and columns A through F. So that is correct. And I don't want to put this pivot table on the existing sheet. I want to put it on a new sheet because this sheet's a little cluttered. So I'm going to click on Create. And now we want to find out which store made the most money. To make things easier to learn pivot tables, just add a row and a value. We can work with columns and filters later once you're more acquainted with pivot tables. So since I want to find out which store made the most money, I'm going to click on Add for Rows and Where. That's the stores. So now I've built part of my pivot table. It's listing all the stores. And now I want to see the money. So I'm going to skip columns, go to values, click add, and then revenue, which is the money. And you can see clearly here, since we don't have a large data set, that the center each store does really well. And if we wanted to see this in um, a chart, we can highlight our data, but not the totals, and then click on Insert Chart. And this creates a nice pie chart of all of our stores and their revenue, the sum of the revenue. We can also change this from a pie chart to a bar chart so we can see it that way. And then we can clearly see that this concept needs a little bit of help. So let's go back to our data sheet and answer another question. So we want to know, do customers prefer in-store, mail order, or online purchasing? First thing you want to do is highlight your data, which is already highlighted for us. Click on Insert, Pivot Table, check your range, put it on a new sheet, and click Create. So the question was, which do customers prefer, in-store, mail order, catalog, or online? So that is, for rows, is the how. How did they purchase their items? So we want numbers for these items. We're going to skip columns and go to values. And for values, we want to see how many items were sold, in-store, mail order, or online order form. So that would be quantity. And we can clearly see that in-store is the clear winner. But mail order catalog is still viable. And maybe the online order form needs a little bit of help. Maybe we need to fix that online order form to make it easier for our customers to use. Now, we can add a little bit more to find out which store is fulfilling the mail order and the online, which is really good at fulfilling these. And to do that, click on Columns and then Where. So now we can see that 
the center each store does really well at fulfilling the mail order items and so does Setauket. Let's see how this looks in a chart. Highlight our data, minus the totals, click on insert, and then chart. So we can clearly see that in-store for both Setauket and CenterH does really well, but Nesconset and Port Jeff are, need a little bit help with fulfilling orders from the web. Let's go back to our data and answer the final question. What is the best selling item? Our data is already highlighted, so we'll click on Insert, Pivot Table, check our data, New Sheet, Create. Again, our question is which is the best selling item? So we want our items listed here. Under Rows, click Add, and that would be the what, and that lists our items. I'm going to expand this column a little bit. We're going to skip columns and go to values and we want to know the best selling item, the item that sold the most. So we're going to click on quantity. We can see here that the Flyrite Sports Kite, we sold 366 of those. But Maybe the kite is not the highest earning item. So what I want to do is add another column of revenue to see which is the highest earning item. And I can do that by adding another value. So I'm going to click on add and then click on revenue. So now we see the money column. And even though we sold the most kites, the handmade soap gift box, we didn't sell as much, but it almost doubled the revenue of the kite. Let's see this in a chart. So I'm going to highlight my data. And then I don't want to add this to the chart, but I do want to add this column. So I'm going to hold down the control button and select this column. So those are the columns that I've selected to put into my chart. I'm going to click on Insert, Chart. And now I can see my data in a bar chart. Let's do one more thing. Let's go to our revenue sheet where we just want to see a list of our stores and how much revenue they made. And what I want to do is maybe I just want to focus on a few stores and not list all of my stores. So I'm going to edit this pivot table. First one I'm going to do is just remove the chart to make it easier to look at. Now to get the pivot table editor back, all I have to do is click on the pivot table. And we're going to focus on filters. Maybe I only want to see the um, Nesconset, Port Jeff, and Stony Brook stores. And I don't want to look at the Center Each and the Setauket stores because they really make the most money. And I just want to focus on the uh, poor earning stores. So I'm going to click on Add. Look at the Where column. And I'm going to click on this show all items. I'm not going to show all items. I'm going to filter out some items. So I want to filter out the center each store. So I'm going to remove that one. And I'm also going to remove the Setauket one and then click OK. So now I can get a closer look at the stores that aren't earning as much as the center each store and the Setauket store. And that's how you use filters. Thank you for watching this video on how to create pivot tables and charts using Google Sheets.